form of tracks, front-runner trains and buses, but stations and stops aren't always close to people's homes. Now a new electric ride-sharing vehicle could help bridge that gap. If you head down to the Daybreak community in South Jordan, chances are you'll see something new whizzing around. It kind of looks like a golf cart, and that's exactly where the owner, Julie Holbrook, got her inspiration. Actually, I uh, saw a golf cart running around here last summer, and I thought that would be a great way to get around here. But then I found out they're really not street legal. After some research, Holbrook found an all-electric vehicle that is street legal. It has a maximum speed of 25 miles per hour, can only drive on roads with a speed limit of 35, and can seat four, including the driver. The only times you can't use it is during lightning. <laughs> uh, since it's electric, it will draw the lightning and snow. The idea is to help locals and visitors to Daybreak with short trips. I've had people say, hey, will you take us on a tour around Daybreak? Well, sure. <laughs> a mom can take her kids to the pool and and um, sometimes little kids don't love that walk. People can get a ride to the temple, they can get a ride home from the break. There's, I think, a lot of opportunity for the people who chose to live here in this community for its close proximity to great things. Not everyone can walk that entire way. Right now, there are three different ways you can get a ride, all of which are booked through the website. They are the Impromptu, the Socialite, and the Commuter. The Impromptu is a one-time ride that costs $5. The Socialite and Commuter are both monthly subscription plans. If you're a Trax commuter, we pick you up at your door, drop you off at the station, and then if you book the time on your way home, we'll pick you up and take you home. So it's door-to-door -door service. The commuter plan costs $55, while the socialite costs $25. Now Holbrook is focused on working out the kinks of her service, but she says it won't be without its challenges, like the ones she's experienced already. I broke the website. <laughs> I thought I knew what I was doing and didn't, and so I've had someone fix it. So what's up now needs to be user tested, so I'm sure there's going to be a couple of items that need to be adjusted. The owner of Cart UT says she already has a second vehicle on the way, and that will fit six passengers. I'll put a link to the electric rideshare service up on our website, fox13now.com. In studio, Jordan Hogan, Fox 13 News, Utah. Thanks so much, Jordan. If you